Good morning, ladies, or whatever time it is when you're watching this. Um, she's done. So we can now be flipping, flipping through the the art journal for for Rosvita. Rosvita was taking care of our younger son for four years now in school and she watched and helped him with um, the diabetes type 1 and um, she was so reliable and she did just such a great job that I think this is the proper gift for her so let's jump in it closes like this and because the snippets I had left over from the fabric cover were so short I just put on some elastic lace see and I had sewn it on there and now it's long enough no biggie. I can tie a bow, I can everything. So, the jewelry, book jewelry, is hooked with the bulldog clip. And it consists out of thick pearl string, some like irregular stones and stuff here. And I just saw that there is a little ring in the end. Well, this is inviting. If there's a ring, I must hang something there too. But this will be definitely then the last thing I will do. Then we have fabrics, strips, lace trim, handmade pearl or bead like the paper beads, which I have some more. Do them out of wrists. And they're so easy to do. You will find tutorials and I might do some more one day. So that's really easy to do. And then what we have else, a key matches the material of the metal corner protectors, a butterfly. And a lunette with a peacock. Okay, and this is basically the jewelry. It can be taken off, no biggie. And now we see. This is a metal label holder as well. The spine is a elastic, flexible binding spine. And it measures... Let me see how much it measures. Two and a half inches. This is six inches by seven a quarter. Okay. Now we open up and it says for Rosvita. This is embossed by the way. This is so much fun. This embossing stuff. I only have two colors. I have light pink and this golden. This is basically all the paper is jelly printing. A little collage. I 
go through there now quite quick. Here's a paper clip with a little elephant. Some goodies, a tag, just some writing spot, not really. Little owl, so cute. And an envelope with a um, transparent music sheet and a little journal card in there. Like so. Here we have more goodies. Italian note paper. This is out of one of these magazines, like or Daphne or Flow magazine. I don't know. Here's a German quote. It says, "Every person is looking for something to hold on." But the only way to be holding on is to let him go. And this is the second the flap of an envelope, handmade also, paper clip. This is basically a paper, napkin on top, and a stamp underneath from Monday to Sunday. And here's a little number, number seven up there. And in here, is a handwritten letter where we say a big huge thank you for the four years of super taking care of our child this is an this the whole image is also a paper clip this is some design paper ready made this is jelly printing this is jelly printing. Okay, the light. Okay. Here also. This is the um, custom made stationery paper. These fine lines to write. Decoration around and then photocopy it. Tiny tuck spot, some Mozart music notes, naturally the marmalade label, bit of script here. Here's plenty of room to write on. This notebook I also bought in Italy. They have the cutest, cutest paper. This is also is stitched around because it's a pocket, but it's also all of that is photocopied paper. Here's a quote by Hermann Hesse. Within us is a stillness, something sacred, where you can at any time go and hide it's an envelope is there something in there? let me see they're so cool about the elastic binding yeah there's some room to write did a watercolor painting, writing space, another pocket, machine stitched all around, a teapot upside down, hmm, that happens, doesn't it? More stationary paper. And what I do, I basically, if I'm making a journal, 
I'm looking for the size of the paper I need to have two sides, a whole spread. And then I do the decoration all around. I put the lines, stamping, washi taping, napkin, stamping, washi tape, some kind of paper, more stamping. And if it's all done, then I just copy it front and back side and finish this paper to write on. For you it says it's also it's just a little paper clip. Yeah, because she is speaking German and um, because we're in Austria and this one says life is a school where you learn how to remember the things that your soul already knows. Okay. I see in here is a bit of darkness missing. Oh, color no. I need darker, darker, darker. Yeah. Sometimes some of these details, but they make all the difference. Yeah, Montana is snowing again. So, you can be done. More writing. Here's machine, machine stitching, a little snippet, fabric snippet. This is Mozart. And it says Mozart is having a concert in Paris. And here's just some goodies. And these little small long bags that's cut off here or ripped off. They are from the incense. They smell wonderful. I cannot throw them away. They're so I don't know, I like them. And a little tag and a writing spot. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not used to talking so much. It really is pulling me out of my comfort zone. And there's some ladies, they have YouTube channels, and they are so talkative. They are so entertaining. They are so full speed chatting away, 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 that I think, oh man. What kind of pill do they take in the morning? I want some too. So I'm a very quiet person. But I'm doing my best to talk to you at least. Hmm. More stationary paper. All of that. This is a pocket. All jelly printed. Writing space. Fabric. The stars, my son is, my smaller son is doing for me. This is jelly printed upon a, um, a newspaper, not newspaper, a magazine. There were some flowers and berries. And I just put couple of very very thin coats of paint on top to get this plus it takes the shine away which I like I don't like shiny paper too much yeah colored in some jelly printing um, a ruffle machine stitched here's a little notebook I love making these. This is so quick. Just torn. Torn paper. Two stitches. Where's the middle? Let me see. Like here. Two stitches. Tie a bow. And done. Um, most beautiful little notebooks for the handbag. And a dress. 
clip which says notes. We have another um, page jelly printing and some embellishment. This is like 3D stickers, you can see they are all 3D. And just a paper clip with a little banner, some flower, fabric, a collage. It used to be a paper bag. Um, I got at a shop in Massa Maritima in Tuscany. Fabric, and it's a pocket also. It says secrets. This is really hard to get in though, ah, uh, because of the clip. Yeah. No. Let's stick out just a bit so she knows. That something is hiding in there. Okay. This is also a paper clip. See? And another tiny notebook. Old paper. This is a very clear rose. Light, light rose color. And just to sketch in or write in. And collage. Fabric. Different kinds of paper. Jelly print. A stamp. A napkin pages and a mini cluster no. this is a copy of a napkin which is the cutest ever look at these dolls aren't they so cute from Paula, from Mallorca. And it's a um, piece dog. More writing spaces. Some post it notes. This is a collage I did. A small little one here. And this is a recipe. A little envelope. Paper clip. This is, I don't know where I bought that. I think this is designed for paper, uh, table decoration or something like that. But it's really flat and it's like cloth with some kind of fabric and some hairy stuff. Snippet roll piece and a coin envelope. Um, some stamps. Another cluster. What I do now, whenever I do craft on my desk here, then sooner or later comes the moment where there's no more space for me to work because I'm just so stuffed up with stuff and scraps and colors and shears and rulers and glue and everything. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And, um, then when I clean up, I, the first thing I do before I, I go cleaning, cleaning, I take all the leftovers and you see the cluster stash is growing, seriously growing. But I love doing these, aren't they pretty? So soon we will have to get a bigger box for those. Some writing paper from Italy also, little collage. Here a leaf. Watercolor I did. This is beautiful. I really love that. It's basically what it is, is a jelly print. 
and I just glued a piece of fabric on it. See? And the fabric with the colors here, it looks so great. I think the camera is not picking that up too good. But it's gorgeous. Some lace. Here my secret writing. And here we have a photograph. It says Elia and Johan and Josephine in our garden. This is our neighbors. This is our landscape. This is Elia, his friend Johan, and little sister Josephine. And Elia had this photograph in in his pencil case. So Rosvita saw that photograph every day and I thought I would remind her and I made a copy and put it in here. I slipped a bit, a bit more in here. So this is um, jelly printing also. It's dryer sheet. And this is a piece of a birch tree. I tried to get it as flat as I could and then glued it on with a lot of glue. Another German written same by Mario Amenti and it says that what you think you are will fall but that what you really are will catch you another poem quote by Goethe Everything is always changing, but behind all that rests something eternal. That's a sticker. It's a bit glossy, a bit, I don't know. This is from a printable by G. Kerr. It's an envelope. and a tag. My husband gave me. Here something can be tucked in. More writing space. Another paper clip. This folds out. Fabric. Also fabric. And here there's just some extra space writing and this is a saying by Nikola Tesla and you say everything is energy make yourself alike the frequency of the reality that you want to have and you will um, create this very reality. This is not philosophy. This is physics. This is a monoprint done by my son. Look at that. Beautiful. Here we have some Tibet prayer banner. Artist trading card. postcard 
Diego Rivera. He was the husband of Frida Kahlo. Strawberry. Oh, come on. The earth. Here is an earth I painted with my watercolors I always use White Knights of St. Petersburg and some shiny, no name, whatever, metallic look watercolors. Here's another empty earth. Dakota, Omar, Lincoln, there is another quote, I don't, I don't know if I can translate, it means letting go does not mean to be brave enough to say goodbye to your past but to be wise enough to live in your present by Steve Maraboli I don't know jelly printing another prayer this is done with watercolors also Jelly print with two bits of fabric. Costa leaf, also jelly printed. Oh man, this is. I, I can try. The contamination of the planet is only a mirror in the outside of a psychological contamination of the inside it's a mirror showing the million of unaware people they do not who don't take um, responsibility for their inner space Glossy in back. No, this is not glossy. This is organza. A bit of lace in there. So quite plain, but I like it like that. This is a fabric piece. Butterfly. Writing space. Images there. Oh, so cute. Ink. And this is the copy of a napkin, a fabric napkin. Here we have an old map that shows um, La Normandie en France. Washi tape. Some kind of paper goodies in here, nothing special. Little flower like a forgive me not flower so cute this is a negative shape of the hosta leaf gel printing and I cluster now this is one I don't really know if I can translate that I try okay so don't don't fuss with me if it's not good but I try to get the message without any doubt the deepest reason for our our fear of death is that we don't know who we are 
We believe in a personal identity which is unique and separate. But if we have the courage to examine this a little bit closer, then we will get aware that this identity is totally depending on a endless list of facts like for instance our name the story of our life our fellow citizens our family our home our work our friends our credit cards and we do rely on this fragile um, assistance of all of these things to make sure that we're safe. And this one by Kurt Tucholsky says the, the annoying about eager is that you do damage to yourself but you don't you're not of any use for the other one. <laughs> Look at that. Ephemera. The saying by Ken Wilber is really bringing it all to the point. And if you're interested in, in him, he wrote books like integrative psychology and integrative philosophy and many more books he's an excellent author and but my husband is reading this i i don't read the books for me it's too too hard really too hard i can bear some some heavy stuff but ken Wilber for me is a bit too much and too technical, too blue, blue structured. I'm more about feelings and emotions. The painting I did, the carrot people. You have to check this out too. This is by um, the channel is called Bob's Blast and by Bob Burridge. He's, I love watching his videos. And he always gave them light to dark, from light to dark. And loosen up, loosen up. And he always say, tell everybody and show everybody how much fun it is to paint and not how hard it is to paint. So check him out, he's definitely worth it. And he's making these carrot figures and I just tried them out. <laughs> so to attack. This was that before, see? These kind of tags. And you, you can just take them apart. I don't know why they have three tags in here. And then just cover them up with anything. And the black is still showing. See? This is very tight. And you're good. And it's a really stable one. Good one. Cluster. Dressed paper clip. And a napkin. Here is a this is a stamp I have. The trunk, when you open, and it's an embossed little heart. So cute, isn't it? Okay, that was it. This is the last page. Did a collage here. Uh, quite a big bag here. Has some extra space. And the little notebook, like I love doing. 
just scraps, just leftovers. And this was finally it, guys. I was really working a lot, a long time on this journal. Because first of all, I do have an inflammation here on my elbow doing the the many, many, many art journals. Same size, same dimension for 18 children, which I, I told you before, I, I don't have have done 18 I have done 11 so far but from all the paper cutting and all the working and mounting and crafting I have like the the elbow um, inflammation and it's really painful and I feel it all day long it doesn't matter what I do I feel it and um, so and then the point is I cannot craft all day long. I can craft like an hour, then half an hour, because I have to take care of the house and the garden, which I don't do that much. Then we have loads of animals, and I'm taking care of Elia and his diabetes, and we're having a lot of fun together. And so like family life and life in general is is happening here and um, so I have a, a bunch of duties I cannot I cannot craft whenever I like but I think most of you can't either this is Singa Singa is two and a half months old now mm, he's playing with the brushes he was born here in the house. We said we want to have at least, at least for once, we want to have um, kittens born here. And we did. And now it's over with. No more animals. Because we have nine cats. And a stranger cat outside, which is the kitten's father. Because our male cats are all castrated, we say like that, like sterile. And um, so we have in these three babies, all black, but all different. Okay, guys, thank you so very much for hanging with me. And for me, it's a motivation and it's a lot of fun doing my journals. And when I, <laughs> he's playing with the water. No, no, no. Anyway, it's, it's fun for me. And as I said before, I started this channel like three or four years ago. But I could not keep it up. I could not, I had to abandon it and I, I did not go on with it for so many reasons and life happening and all that and um, so I paused I didn't do anything and I just restarted now like two weeks ago or something like that or three weeks ago I started again and this is why I don't have any subscribers but it doesn't matter to me because it I, I always say if there's only just like a few people out there who hang with me sometimes when I'm sitting here creating, then that already makes me happy. <laughs> so before he's killing the journal now, I think, I think we should, and we should stop now. Okay, so again, thank you very much, love you all, and take good, good care. Hasta pronto, see you soon, ciao, ciao.